And when you, one reason for doing this is that it tends to actually give rise to a lot of trust and confidence and faith uh, in the Buddha's teachings. Uh, because I have found in my own life, uh, I've always had a, a, a little bit of historical interest in these matters. Uh, and the more I understand of the Buddha, who he was, uh, what he did two and a half thousand years ago, uh, the more, uh, the closer in a sense he comes to me, uh, the closer, the more real he becomes, uh, and the more alive also becomes the Dhamma that he taught. Uh, it's almost like you get a, a relationship with the Buddha uh, when you understand more what type of personality uh, and why he did the things he did uh, and why uh, he taught the Dhamma in the way that he actually taught that Dhamma. So it gives, for me at least, uh, and I think it's probably the same for many of you, uh, it gives rise to so much, much more powerful faith, uh, trust, confidence uh, that this is the right thing. Uh, the greater your understanding is, uh, the more powerful these things tend to become. Uh, and uh, also, uh, one of the results of this kind of inquiry, I can probably tell you the results straight away because it's very mundane and very ordinary. Uh, one of the results of inquiring into the Buddha, who the Buddha was, uh, that you realize that in most ways, uh, in many, many ways, the Buddha was very much an ordinary human being, just like the rest of us. Uh, uh, he had his defilements, he had his problems, just like us. Uh, and that's precisely, be precisely because uh, the Buddha was in many ways just like us. That is why his life is so significant for us. That is why we can relate to him as a person. That's why we can use his life as a kind of guiding light in our own practice. That's why we can understand what he was doing and he could understand us. If the Buddha was some kind of god, if the Buddha was some kind of otherworldly being which has absolutely no relationship to humanity, well then his life is no guide to us anymore, eh? because it becomes something completely separate. Eh? There's no relationship between us and the Buddha anymore, because he's something else, he's something other. Eh? But if the Buddha is one of us, he's a human being, eh? then suddenly his life becomes tremendously significant, eh? because we can relate to him almost perfectly. Eh?